Okay, my friends, so I recently went thrifting, uh, thrift store hunting. I found some really good movies. Thought I'd show them off and talk about them for y'all. And as always, if you've seen any of these films, definitely let me know what you think of them. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and run through these real quickly and just talk about like some of the advantages of it is going to thrift stores. So basically, when you thrift store hunt, uh, sometimes you'll find a lot of how-to-print things. Uh, sometimes you'll find really good gems, hidden gems that you didn't know existed. Uh, and mostly you get really good deals. And on top of it all, you usually support a good benefit, like a good cause. Uh, usually that contributes either to your community or to another, like Goodwill, for instance. Uh, if you uh, shop at Goodwill, you're helping people find jobs uh, here in the United States and uh, like other charities that help, you know, nonprofit organizations that help um, other, you know, uh, like veterans or homeless or uh, things of that nature. So usually thrifting, uh, there's a lot of good benefits to thrifting. So I would highly encourage everyone to go thrift store hunting and uh, find some good deals, get some good stuff, and uh, you never know what you'll get. But anyways, first up, so let's go ahead and dive right into this thing. First up, we have a movie I already own, but upgraded to Blu-ray now, Miracle, uh, with uh, Kurt Russell, very good performance, about the uh, hockey, I think this was based on the 1970s, about the Olympic hockey team uh, that beat Russia, and so, yeah, very good film, uh, very good performance uh, all across the board. One of my favorite hockey films to watch, uh, especially around Olympic time. So I went ahead and upgraded to Blu-ray so I can get rid of my DVD and give it to another thrift store. And someone else can pick it up for super cheap. Okay, next up we have Invincible, Marky Mark Wahlberg, based on the true story of Vince Papali, uh, local bartender in Philadelphia who uh, became a pro athlete in the NFL. And uh, so, yeah, very good movie. Love this film. It's probably one of my favorites, and I really do like Mark Wahlberg's performance in this. Uh, and so, yeah, I went ahead and grabbed that. I don't own this movie, so, yeah, Blu-ray, got it. Next up, Awesome Spaghetti Western. Actually a blind buy, but I've heard great things about this film. Lee Van Cleef and Clint Eastwood star in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, directed by Sergio Leone. I have a hard time saying that name. Sergio Leone? I hope I'm saying that right. But anyways, Spaghetti Western. Picked this up for like five bucks. Uh, still in a shrink wrap. So I lucked out on that one. Pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, got this one. Never seen it. Don't know what to expect. Also, next up, we have American History X. Edward Norton, Edward Furlong. Both give great performances. I have not seen this movie in a very long time. But I remember it had a very good impact on me and basically about uh, skinheads and just racism in America and stuff. And uh, But yeah, very good performances. Have not seen this movie in a very long time, so happy to add that one to the collection. Another blind buy with Josh Harnett, uh, Aaron Eckhart, Hilary Swank, Scarlett Johansson. We have the true story of the Black Dahlia murder uh, about the woman who was found sawed in half in Hollywood, California. Very brutal murder, very bizarre story. The case isn't in the best condition, but the disc is still very keen. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead and grabbed this one. It was like a dollar, and it's a complete buy. Uh, it's a complete blind buy. I've never seen this movie before, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a shot. And then after that one, we have based on the Fred Decker novel three, movie with the same name three. Uh, Fred Decker is supposed to be the Christian version of Stephen King. I don't know nothing about him or this story or the book or anything. This is another complete blind buy. Uh, for one single dollar, I will give it a try. And then next up, another blind buy for one dollar. That is a cure for wellness. Uh, this is still a very recently, fairly new movie. But went ahead and grabbed this one. It's supposed to be really graphic and uh, I don't know what to expect. So for one single dollar, I will give this a shot. I don't know nothing about this film. I've just, I've heard things, but we'll see. So, And then for my local vintage stock, uh, bought this used. This is a Roger Corman film, The Premature Burial. Uh, I'm imagining this is going to be a cheesy black and white um, B movie. Usually with Roger Corman, it usually is cheesy B kind of a, it's usually a cheesy B kind of a film. And so I went ahead and grabbed that one. 
Then after that, uh, original OG Anchor Bay before Scream Factory came along, uh, we have The Evil Dead on DVD. Uh, I bought this for like a dollar. Uh, I, uh, I'm a huge fan of Anchor Bay. When I see this logo, I just can't help but get a little, uh, a little nostalgic going up in me. And so, um, yeah, I've always loved Anchor Bay. They're a very good company. And so I went ahead and grabbed this one for one single buck. Go ahead and add it to the collection. And then I bought this one used half off the sticker price. This is a four movie pack. Uh, we have Fun House. We have Phantasm 2, Serpent in the Rainbow, and SSSSS. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that. Okay, it's just going to sound weird. But yeah, went ahead and grabbed this one. Looks looks like there's going to be a lot of fun movies on here, especially Phantasm 2. I have seen the first Phantasm, and I love that movie. And so to see the sequel, I'm sure it'll be awesome. Plus another one that is kind of a plus is The Serpent in the Rainbow. I'm a huge fan of Wes Craven. So grab that one. Next up we have his name was Jason, the uh, Friday the 13th horror documentary. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's from Anchor Bay, so I went ahead and picked this one up. It was a couple bucks. And uh, yeah, I've never seen this before, so this will be pretty awesome to check out. A documentary on... Friday the 13th. I've always loved the Friday the 13th franchise anyway, so I'm more than happy to add this to my collection with all my other Friday the 13th films. So yeah, his name was Jason. Plus it's a two disc set, so there's got to be a lot of content on here if it's two discs. And then next up, one that I was really happy to add to the collection. Very good film. Uh, I personally say it's highly... I would personally say that's a pretty underrated movie. David Cronenberg, Christopher Walken, The Dead Zone, DVD. Um, this is a very good film. This is probably one of my favorite uh, Christopher Walken films. And plus, I'm a huge fan of David Cronenberg. He's done some of my favorite movies of all time, such as Scanners and, of course, this one. And, uh, the, and also the remake of The Fly. And also A History of Violence. David Cronenberg is the man when it comes to stuff like this. And so... Yeah, went ahead and grabbed this one, uh, based on the Stephen King novel, one of my favorites, so now it cost me a single dollar from Savers in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Happy to add it to my collection. Guys, that's it for this haul. If you've seen any of these films in this pile, definitely let me know what you think of them. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will talk to you very soon.